Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make straight your paths. Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 and 6. For some of us, trust doesn't come easily. We're suspicious. We want proof that there is a God and then proof upon proof before we believe. I never got the sense that that was true for one of our members who recently died, Liz Stapes. I think from the time that she was a little girl, she learned to trust the Lord, to consider any other option was just never compelling for her. She knew she could trust the Lord because he had backed up his promises with his actions. Jesus didn't just say, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he die, yet shall he live. He actually lived, died, and rose again. Liz knew of God's faithfulness as described in the stories of the Bible, and she knew of his faithfulness in her life as well. She demonstrated her trust in the Lord throughout her life but never more vividly than in the last few months as she dealt with the disease called cancer. Throughout her short battle with cancer, she demonstrated a peace that passes all understanding and a rock-solid trust that her life was in the Lord's hands. She certainly wanted to remain on this earth for a while longer so she could enjoy her family and church family but she also knew that if the Lord called her home, she was ready to go. She could say with St. Paul, For to me, to live is Christ, and to die is gain. Liz's trust in the Lord was a great witness to others. I pray that what was true in her life is true in your life as well. That you know how much God loves you, that Jesus died for you, that the promises of God are dependable, and that there's no better place to put your trust than in Him. Press on in the Lord.